boutique recruitment and HR consultancy firm. Still are our best business 2010. Angel recruitment is so about getting the people thing right. That's the message no, today. It's a local startup. We've taken the market six years ago and we provide recruitment and HR consulting to say Anyone here a human resource manager? Thank goodness for that. <laughs> Everything that I know about getting the people thing right happens around that new employment relationship. So it's just say that Angel is in the people business. We sell no product, we actually have no tangible output, but we've been able to build a sustainable and profitable business with people. I really think there's a fine art to people skills, and I know I haven't mastered it, and I don't know if anyone's ever gonna master it, but my point is, people are so fluid and powerful that as a resource or energy, it's really hard to work with them. I discovered that the worst job you can have is to actually be a job seeker. And I was so frustrated with the situation. It was one of the reasons I started Angel Recruitment and Consultancy Group in the first place. So our employer brand, the way we attracted candidates, was one thing we got right when we first came to the marketplace. So we were able to create a good brand strategy that looked like a big corporate strategy, but was still a small business focus. So nobody bothered us too much, and we were quite effective in making sure we marketed ourselves effectively our candidates. I realised I first needed somebody before I could do anything else on that list. So, when we're talking about the getting the people thing right, I needed to consider what my employer brand was and how I was going to actually attract talent to my business. How I was actually going to get the best administrator for my business. Came to my shortlist and decided on who I wanted. Her name was Christina. And the second interview was all about offering Christina the job. And I thought about it really carefully as to what I'm going to say. And I thought the only thing I can truly say is the truth and be honest and set the real expectations of what she's getting herself into. Point is, first find out what your employer brand is. It is critical when you are thinking about the type of talent that you want to attract to your business. So I said Christina. Although we're called angel, at times it will be like you're working in hell. She just looked at me and said, especially in summer because the air conditioning will not reach your table <laughs> and you might get really hot. And Chris, the truth of the matter is, at the moment, it's just me and we need more business. So, all the money I've got left to try to get this working, I'm hoping will I'll get to pay you when we'll do that. But if that doesn't work, then you might be at risk of not having a job because cash flow in small business, we all know, is a big issue. But I said, before you make a decision and say anything, I need to tell you, this is what I want to do though. This is what I want our company to achieve and I really need your help to do it. And I waited and she said, okay. We all know that there are a couple of barriers to employing and they are that we have got a shortage of qualified applicants. We also have a lot of competition for the same applicants. So when I say applicants, I'm saying talent. And there are, um, there are difficulties in actually identifying where that talent is that you want to bring on board. Now if there's the general consensus of why we don't get the people seen right all the time, if it's hard for large organisations, I bet that it's even harder for small business to attract that talent to their cause. When you discover how to get the right people on the bus, you also need to consider how to get the wrong people So off. getting the people right is twofold. It's having the right people with you and knowing when you don't have them. And I think it's all about a mindset because you need to realise that the employment rate relationship has changed. It's no longer, this is what I'm looking for and you must be able to do this, 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 have this, 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 and if you don't, you don't get the job. It doesn't work like that anymore. It's more about, this is what we are looking for and if you feel you've got the right skills, we really encourage you to apply. And if you do and you join us and we'd like you to, we're going to look after you. That is how that employment relationship has changed. And you can't always get the people thing right, and I made that point before, 
people are fluid and things change. So you need to prepare. Ultimately, better search means better recruitment. And a couple of tips when you are looking at recruiting. Forget the traditional model of recruiting. It's no longer good enough to just place an ad in the paper and list your job on seek. We are still thinking of recruitment as a point in time. That means we have a job and we want to fill it now. So we're looking at the best person at this point in time when we consider that strategy. We really need to open our minds and be more proactive with attracting talent to our business on a continuous basis. And one way companies do that quite effectively is with social media like YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn. At Angel, we find that some of our most successful placements happen when we're engaging candidates we met a long, long time ago. If we're able to build a relationship with these candidates, when the right opportunity comes up, we give them a call. So we don't do our work as a point-in-time model. We are continuously recruiting in the market just in case the right opportunity comes up for them. Use your intuition. We have well-structured processes and methodologies at Angel when we do recruitment. You know, skills testing, behavioural assessment, the whole thing. But at the end of the day, I rely on the intuition of my consultants and trust they have a good understanding of what the client needs. And then have faith that they understand exactly what a candidate can offer. And everybody does this when they do that interview. You use your intuition. I'm just saying, don't let that go. If we're looking at best practice, keep that as part of the mix. Consider attraction, your employer brand, the same as you would consider marketing to your customers. If you do a good search campaign, you will always do better recruitment. So in that way, things like these networking functions are a good way to potentially plan forward and consider potential talent for your business. Because just because they're not looking for work right now, they may want work later, and you want to make sure they know they can approach you.